these younger guys and these guys competing for that two and three spot, they're starting to reach a point of comfort with their knowledge. And I've always said that knowledge eliminates fear. And when you have that, you can start to play fast. I want to see a gain. I want to see it to be further ahead. Obviously, it was the first one. I want to see game type tempo. Those are the type of things you want to start to see in that second scrimmage. We want to see an outside zone to the right. We want to see an outside zone left, an inside zone. And we want to see our base protections both sides. Can we execute with uh, what's given. Uh, it's going to be very critical that we get our checks, our adjustments, make sure we're in the right coverages, make sure that we're lining up correctly and we're on our fundamentals, reading our blocks to make sure that the entire team is on the same page. Going into the second scrimmage, we have a couple of positions that we're still competing for uh, that first and second unit. We'll get the first group that we know of solidified spots, a series or two, and then get them out and really start focusing in on the extras that, uh, that are going to be a part of this offense this year. The real thing is creating that depth because at some point some of the younger guys that are a little bit more inexperienced are going to have to play some snaps for us and it's going to be key that we just continue to roll and there's no chink in the armor when they get in. Just to see who's going to be them last 10 or 12 to get on the bus so yeah we'll get here that night and, and get it going and a lot of those guys will get a lot more reps than what they got in the first one.